Uh, today I'm going to do something uh, that will help you to get to know me. I will be introducing myself by telling you 50 things you probably don't know about me. And the idea behind this thing is that even people who know me, who have known me for a while, will be able to find something new that they didn't know about me before. So, let's go. I have my trusty computer here uh, so, I can, uh, so I can read of the script. I speak five languages. I speak uh, Swedish and English fluently, uh, though Swedish is my mother tongue. Um, I also speak a great deal of Finnish. I speak uh, conversational German and I've just started to learn Spanish. Hola! Hey, jag heter Ida. Hello, my name is Ida. Moi, ni meni on Ida. Hello, ich bin Ida. Hola, me llamo Ida. I'm part of a Swedish-speaking minority in Finland, so we uh, we consist of like 300,000 people of the 5.5 million people here. I'm definitely a creative person. I paint, I draw, I write, I sketch. Basically, everything that has anything to do with creative interests, I do it. My favorite foods are salmon and tortillas. I eat way too much sugar and I know it sounds like kind of quirky and cute, but no, I eat way too much sugar. It's a problem. Send help. I've been blogging for, uh, for nine years on different platforms. That's a long time. That's almost the majority of my life. I've actually won a prize for one of my short stories. I'm 1.63 meters tall and for you Americans, that's uh, that's five feet four, but people tend to think I'm taller when they've only seen me like in pictures or um, online, which I don't really get. Why do you think I'm tall? I am tiny. I don't know, not tiny. I'm pretty. I'm pretty short. <laughs> I struggle with uh, with depression and anxiety, but I'm working on it. Woohoo! I have an amazing ability to memorize things. I can memorize almost everything, but however, I suck at math. My absolute biggest dream is to be able to support myself as an author, uh, which I actually work towards every day. I was a vegetarian for an entire year, and um, though I've stopped being a vegetarian, I still eat as, like, as little meat as possible because it is really bad for the environment and I love animals, but I didn't want to limit myself with a diet. Like if I travel somewhere and there's a like, there's special dish, the, the best dish in the country is one containing meat, I want to be able to try it. I don't want to have restrictions. I get by on about five or six hours of sleep per night easy without any effects in the long run or in the short run. I read a lot. I read a ton of books and short stories, like everything you can think of. I read it like articles, newspapers, everything. I'm a very spontaneous person and I, I tend to uh, I tend to la launch quite big projects without planning them through because when I get an idea, I want it to, I want it to instantly exist. Like it's supposed to be out in the world as fast as possible. I love learning new things, uh, and I've always loved learning new things, which is also partly why I love reading so much. Um, like for example, right now I'm currently taking an IT course, which for me is pretty intense. I've learned a lot of stuff. And I'm also learning a new language, Spanish. I spend about 9 to 10 hours a day working on my education, my social media influence. Um, just large projects in general take up a lot of my time. Uh, I don't get a lot of time to myself, but I love what I do, so it's really not a problem. I, I love meeting new people. I love getting to know new people, and I find it extremely interesting to getting uh, getting to know their stories and to tell them mine. I am my absolute happiest when I get to be in a bubble bath with a nice book and a good glass of wine. Uh, if I had to choose like my favorite kind of exercise it would be swimming. I love swimming. I love music, I have uh, quite a good singing voice, and I've recently started to learn how to play the guitar. 
if I were to describe myself with three words, I would choose innovative, awkward and driven. My favourite colours are green and purple, which does not show because I don't know any cl own like any clothing in those colours besides the shirts you saw in the intro video. So I spend almost all my free time online and most of the stuff I do when I work is also online. Um, like all the thing, things I do on social media and even my schoolwork and even if I work on my schoolwork offline I listen to music in the background. So almost all of my time online. I'm a feminist. Considering I'm, a, I'm an environmental biologist or environmental biologist to be, I'm very materialistic. I own a lot of things and I like having a lot of things. However, I am working on becoming less materialistic, so that's good. For those of you interested in zodiac science, even though I don't understand it, I'm a Gemini. I have no idea what that tells you about me, but I hope it's good. Maybe. It might be good. It might, so might also be really bad. Maybe. I grew up in a, a really small community with uh, under um, under 7,000 7, people and now I live in one of our most beautiful and largest cities. My first apartment was tiny, it was 14 square meters and for you Americans that's 150 square feet. That's that's about the size of this room. I would even say it might be smaller than this room. One of my biggest goals for my life is to travel because I want to learn and if you ask me, the best way to learn is to travel. I love stuffed animals and our bed is currently filled with them. I don't know why I'm so passionate about them, I just... They're very cute and cuddly and I like them. I have a ridiculous amount of clothing. Uh, there are clothes over there and then that cabinet, that cabinet and that cabinet are also filled with my clothes, uh, there are clothes over there, and I own over 20 pairs of shoes for no apparent reason. I have a younger brother and a younger sister who both st still live at home with my parents, but they're moving out soon. I, think that I still think they're tiny, but somehow they've all aged and now my sister is an adult and I don't understand. When did this happen? I'm the only one allowed to be an adult, damn it. Everyone knows younger siblings aren't supposed to age. I write, <laughs> I write about uh, 2,500 uh, 2, and 300 words, like somewhere in between, when I'm inspired. That's quite a lot of words, uh, considering an average novel can range between 40,000 to about 80, that's... I mean, if I wrote for a solid 10 hours, I would have half a book. The absolute worst thing, if you ask me, about attending university is the group projects and early classes. I hate early classes. I have recently started trying writing scripts for my videos. I haven't decided if I like it yet, but it's, it's a process, I'm getting there. This one is scripted, but that one you knew is right there. <laughs> Another thing about the YouTube channel, I am very very busy, which means at least for the time being I don't have an upload schedule. That's why I say see you next time or something adjacent to that, because I, I do a lot of things. I have a lot of travel and projects and deadlines and exams coming up this month and the next month, and I'm also doing stockpiling so that I can spend um, spend my Christmas break with my family and don't have to think about blogging or vlogging or videos and work in general. So I can't promise you an upload schedule. Sorry. <laughs> I am a very messy person. My stuff is everywhere. Send help. <laughs> this is my child, or at least as close as one as I'm gonna get for a very long time. If you didn't watch the intro, her name is Estelle and she is known for running into closed doors and chair legs and furniture in general. She takes after me, obviously.
There are a few YouTubers that I hate. Um, and those are the Paul Brothers and Onision because... What are you doing? You have no purpose. What? Don't you have better things to do than pester other people's lives and throw Pokeballs at people? I don't get it. I don't understand. You don't contribute anything. Why? I believe in ghosts. Estelle, do you believe in ghosts? It's inconclusive. <laughs> I have had every hair color except grey, which I'm saving for my 60s. This is actually the color I have stuck with for the longest in a very long time. Because... Because I like red, I like how it looks. I actually don't have a favorite animal because I love all of them. Except maybe ticks. I... no. They're fascinating from a scientific standpoint, but no. Just no. If I could, I would have a spider. Someone get me a spider. This is the spider I want. Estelle would probably eat it. But I want one anyway. My dream house is self-sustaining when it comes to energy. My showers are always scalding hot. I can't believe people actually... There are people who prefer cold showers. Why? How you do this? What? Why do you like being cold? Why is freezing so exciting to you? I'm ambidextrous, which means I use both of my hands. I uh, I write with my I write letters with my right hand and numbers with my left, and I can draw with both. My favorite movie snack is popcorn. And number fifty, if I won a million dollars, I would uh, I would donate half of it to charity, and then the remaining um, I would split into half of which one half I would invest and save, and the other half I would travel for. And that's that. I hope you, I hope you learned anything, um, something new about me, and, uh, and if you're still here, congratulations. The average human attention span is 8 seconds, so if you're still here, bravo. If you want to see more of my stuff, I, um, I upload... Uh, I've only uploaded one video so far, but I, I upload a couple times a week. At least that's what I've planned, uh, a couple times a week. And it's stuff like this uh, about me, and it's self-help, um, and travel, and completing my life goals. Just a journey in general. So subscribe if you want to be part of that. Also check out my bucket list in the link in the description. I have over a thousand things I want to do with my life. So it's a pretty interesting read, and maybe you can find some ideas for your own by reading mine. Other than that, I will see you next time. Bye.